good morning everyone welcome back happy friday and welcome to a nice little weekend vlog we have pretty much like a free weekend a few little loose idea of plans but i'm gonna take you guys along um and we're gonna start this friday off with a nice workout just got in my workout gear and it's a hit workout so i made sure to wear like my strong sports bra I've got on my biker shorts. I actually need to do laundry. This was my last pair. So probably need to do some laundry this weekend. It's gonna be gorgeous out tomorrow. So I think tomorrow will be some time by the pool. I wanna fill you guys in on some wedding updates. We have to finish booking the Italy hotels, random stuff like that. So we're gonna have a chill weekend together. Let's start it off. Oh, and I forgot one of my main focuses is finishing this damn book so I can give you guys a book review in this vlog. 91%, it's like 420 pages I think. So I'm like literally almost done. I'm gonna read right now because I'm starting off my workout with a 10 minute bike ride. So let's see what I can get done. How the f I feel like I'm gonna throw it. Go lower at the bottom. That was dangerous. Much better. Yeah, you just gotta be careful. Yeah, okay. I'm kicking my butt. Only on the right side. You just need tightness on the left. I can't reach on the other side. Up next is 20 reps of jumps. Not the right shoes for that. Oh, she's gonna kill me today. Just wrapped up my workout. I'm about to get in the shower and then I gotta do some computer work and such. I have to get my vlog up. I edited it yesterday, but needs finishing touches, watch back, thumbnail, takes hours. So I'm gonna do that. But I got these on Amazon Prime Day, so I wanna try them out. I'm just gonna put a cup of warm water in a Tupperware and then you let the tablet soak up and then you just soak your retainer in there. Comes with a bunch of them. They have really good reviews. So we're gonna try them out. Literally just says dissolve the tablet, put in the retainers and let them sit. I'll probably let them sit for longer than 15 minutes. Just let them get really nice and clean. Our water is cloudy, what the heck? Babe? Our water is cloudy. That's disgusting. Yuck. It's been running. It's getting clearer now. That's weird. Maybe they're doing work on lines. It's yeah. gross. Interesting. Should I not do it? Yeah, wait a little bit. Okay. Let the shower run. I can look on the app and see if they're doing uh, work on the water lines or something. It's getting better. Yeah, Still should fun. be clearer though. It's weird. It looks like it's running clear. All right, I hopped in the shower because the water was not running clear in the bathroom for some reason, so I had to figure that out. But I got water from our kitchen sink and it's clear. So let's go ahead and put in these tablets in the warm water. They smell good, minty. I'm gonna let that dissolve and then we'll put our retainers in. I don't know if I'm gonna show you because that's kind of gross. <laughs> they need to be cleaned. Set a timer for 15 minutes. All right, 15 minutes, starting now. I mean, mine are pretty bad too. I'm gonna do the 15 minutes, see what it looks like after that, and then if it needs more time, I'll let it soak more. Okay, I'm gonna make myself some food and get the vlog up, and then I'm gonna come back and chat with you guys. Hello, okay. Vlog is up and the guys came for a few hours and worked on the arches. So I wanted to give you guys an update. I did leave the can in here for touch-ups for the rest of the walls. They're like a very, very light gray. And then I wanted the arches white and they painted all the arches white. So I just texted him. I don't know if they wanted to do that and then paint white over it. I'm not too sure, but I let him know. I was like, hey, I left that can like you said for touch-ups. He wanted like the color for touch-ups and they painted all the arches. So these are gonna be white, but for now they just painted them the same exact color as the whole living room. I just want it to be more of like an accent wall, white with like the light wood. I don't even love this light gray color. Honestly, I'm just not really gonna repaint the whole entire living room and it's all in the hallway and everything. It's like good enough, 
um, but it wouldn't be my choice. So I'd rather the arches not be that color. You know what I mean? I did also tell him that I had these cans of white that we painted a lot of the other rooms in the house with, but I didn't put them up here because I didn't realize they were painting today and I didn't know he needed them. So he's like the owner of the company and then he has like, you know, his employees come do the job. So I guess it got a little mixed up in communication, which is totally fine. But now I brought up these whites that we have. So I'm sure it's not a big deal. They'll just do a coat of white over it, but it's looking so gorgeous. It looks like it was always meant to be here, you know, especially once like the molding is on, oh, it's gonna look so good. So that's the update on that. I did finish my book, so let me give you a quick little book review. So glad I finally finished this one. I looked at my Goodreads and it was like the second I started it and it is the 21st. Also, I just did like the quickest like two second makeup. I was just feeling like I needed a little something on my face, you know? Anyways, okay. We wrapped up the Maybe Now book. This is the third book in the Maybe Someday series. So it's Maybe Someday, Maybe Not, which is a short novella, and then Maybe Now. This is the longest one in the series. This is 413 pages. Yeah, 413 pages. What I thought was really cute was each chapter is a different character's perspective and you get kind of like the story that wasn't in the other books. If you missed my review on the other two books, real quick synopsis on what this series is about it is a girl that lives in an apartment complex. She is remaining with her boyfriend and her best friend, finds out that her boyfriend is cheating on her, so she goes to move out. But in the apartment complex, she's got the hots for this guy that is across the way. He goes and plays his guitar on the balcony and she's very intrigued by him. And then it's kind of about their story of how they meet and start to like each other but he's also in a relationship so it just gets like messy and spicy the other guy has roommates too so this kind of goes into their stories overall i wouldn't say it's something that i was super excited about obviously because this is the longest it's taken me to read a colleen hoover book so i wasn't super duper into it i've also had a lot going on with like my sister and her bride stuff and the basement flooding and we just had a lot of stuff happening over in this house, the built-ins and whatever. We're trying to like keep the cats away, make sure they don't get out. All of that combined, I feel like I would have taken the time to pick it up and read like a page or two where I could. And I just didn't feel that way. I love the storyline. I love the love stories in it. I just think that this book was a little not as exciting as the other two. But I still gave it a four on my Goodreads because I did enjoy reading it. I just felt like it wasn't something that I would tell you guys that you have to go run and read. But the first book was really, really cute. And I enjoyed the little novella too. So I guess if you're super into it and you want to read this one, you can, but you don't have to. You could read just the first two in the series and I wouldn't say that you're missing out on like a lot. So yeah, that's my little book review of that. Let's do a wedding update because I feel like it's been a hot minute since we've talked about it. I've been consumed with my sister's stuff, planning her bridal shower and whatnot. So I kind of been leaving you guys hanging. So let's fill you in on what's been going on, what we've got set up. Let's just do a refresh recap for those of you that are excited about wedding content. Here we go. So we've got a lot of big things checked off the list. I've got my list in front of me here on my phone. Um, so everything we've got so far, hair and makeup is done. You guys saw the trial on the engagement shoe. We are just tweaking the hair a little bit on that day to be a little less structured um, and a little bit more natural and wavy. So hair and makeup, done. Booked a package with them. Uh, my sister and Jerry are also getting their makeup done. Everyone else is undecided. So that can always be an add-on, but I at least got the package with them included. We've got DJ, which you guys saw the entire meeting on that. If you missed it, I have a whole entire wedding playlist on my channel. So you guys can sit through the, like pretty much, I just cut out like the personal information, but pretty much the whole entire meeting with uh the dj company that we went with we were super comfortable with them they were a recommended vendor by our venue so it's great because they eat for free and they know the venue so they can just come set up so easily done so photographer done you guys already know it's monica we love her we're so comfortable with her so I am so glad that we have her in our life to do our wedding. Done, that's easy. Videographer, I don't think I ever talked about actually on here with you guys. We have booked and I am so excited. This was a videographer recommended by our photographer that she's seen his work and she has worked with him at a wedding I believe or she went to a wedding where he was working and she was very impressed by them so she was like it's great company they stay out of my way like I wanted to make sure that Monica was comfortable with the videographer and that they didn't like clash so I had her give me a list of ones that she's worked with seen been to a wedding with stuff like that so 
very excited we got like the big package with the drone footage and i've seen examples of their work and it looks really really beautiful so videographer done our venue includes the food and the cake so that was already checked off the list once we picked our venue which is iconic amazing love that for us there is also hotel on site so zane and i get a suite we'll be staying there um and as far as transportation i haven't decided on that yet because we're gonna be going quite early so we literally might just like drive ourselves there i'm not sure yet maybe we'll just get a limo for funsies just to take us there that day so yeah that's undecided and then the next two major things in my opinion are florals which i have not dove into yet i'm gonna look at the recommended ones from them because again they eat free so i'm gonna try to do that um but obviously while also picking someone that fits what we want so gotta like meet in the middle you know basically i just mean like i'm not gonna settle for someone that can't like provide the actual flowers that we want or the style that we want we just want it to be a good match so i'm not going to sacrifice just because it's a recommended vendor also don't the people come set up the flowers before the wedding even begins so they probably don't even need a plate anyway so i guess it really doesn't matter that i haven't dove into yet um i know what kind of flowers we want so that's just like the next big thing to check off the list we've been doing it slowly but we've got a lot checked off considering that our wedding is still well over a year away it's not until the end of next year so i think we're on a great path so the flowers big thing and then the other big thing is my dress which i think i will be doing towards the end of this year that way i have time if i want anything custom or if it takes a while to come in I don't want to be like rushing that at all like the engagement dress you know the day before it like wasn't altered at all <laughs> so that's my guess of it for that obviously zane has to go get his suit that's gonna be so easy you guys are so easy they're just gonna be like yep tailored to fit me okay great done and then all the little things i obviously am gonna need my shoes we need to also get an officiant which we've had a few recommendations from you know people around us so that will be quite easy just to find one that has our day available oh my veil too that'll happen when i get my dress probably and then all like the paper goods too like we'll do the save the dates i think we're gonna work on this upcoming week hopefully if we have a chance to like sit down and figure that out i think a company is gonna be working with us on all of the paper goods which is so helpful and so exciting like our save the dates our invitations our welcome sign i don't know what they're gonna be providing but we are working with someone yeah we're gonna be like collabing with them so that's really amazing perks of my job i guess which is i'm so grateful for that <laughs> because this wedding is not cheap so anywhere that a company wants to help a girl out i am here for them thank you so much and then also our wedding bands like the actual bands that we're gonna put on each other on the day of the wedding we have to get that can wait we can do that when it gets closer and then our marriage license which you have to do i believe it's six weeks before because it expires i have it on my calendar go get marriage license so we don't forget to do that so we can actually get married on that day and then as it gets closer we're gonna get in more detail with all of our vendors like our dj for the actual songs that we want to play what songs we want to walk down the aisle and dances and all that fun stuff we have to write down all of the vendors are kind of like yeah we get in touch with you like two months before your wedding or a month before your wedding and finalize everything which is like all right i'm chilling until then because there's so much time so much time to think about it and get all of our thoughts together on what we actually want so that's really awesome i feel like we are way ahead of the game i don't really feel stressed about it at all our venue is so great i have a day of coordinator i have a bridal's assistant it's all pretty much included and i'm not doing bridesmaids so i don't really have the stress of worrying about getting like a bunch of matching dresses and getting everyone's hair and makeup done i'm kind of just doing like my super close people do you want your hair and makeup done yes no maybe so um my sister though she's older and she's been in a lot of weddings um so she was like but i want the maid of honor title and i was like you'll still be helping me and everything but sure you can have the maid of honor title that doesn't really change much for me but if you want that you can have that so i'm like be my maid of honor thank you <laughs> i'm like i just don't like people doing stuff for me i've explained all of this but i'm like you're gonna be there with me the whole time on the day of anyway so if that title makes you happy sissy no problem and even though i'm not having bridesmaids on the day of i do still want to do like a bachelor party with my friends so i'm thinking like all my stuff will be next summer it is like i feel like i put my stuff aside until my sister's stuff is done so now that her bridal shower is done next is her batch trip which we're going on in january and then i feel like once all her stuff is done then i just have to attend her wedding in march 
then I feel like I can like focus on my stuff. So I think I'm gonna do a batch party with my friends next summer because then our wedding is next fall. So I feel like that's like good timing, you know? I'm kind of like a go with the flow person. I don't plan too much in advance. And my sister's already like, what day are we going dress shopping for you? I'm like, Sissy, I don't know. I'm not there yet. <laughs> and she's coming at the end of August into September for a friend's wedding. And we were talking about like, uh, we were gonna go out with our cousins and have a night out. And she's like, all right, on September, da da da. I'm like, you already have it planned in your calendar. I'm like, week of, all right, sounds good. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I'm a planner, but sometimes I'm like, at least let's wait until like two weeks before or like the month of. And she's like, let's get it done now, planned out, ready to go. She's like my mom in that sense. I'm like, I have the next two weeks on my brain. After those two weeks are over, then I can think about the next two weeks after that. So that's my update. Let me know if you guys think I forgot anything. I have a whole entire checklist from our venue. Like it is so detailed. So I think I'll be set once I go through that. That's not due until like two months before the wedding as well. But we'll do like our little favors and little customized napkins and all that little tchotchke stuff. Um, but other than that, I think the big stuff is like pretty figured out. Next on the list is flowers and dress. That's like my main next priorities. So I think we're on a good path. But yay! I just wanted to give you guys like a little wedding update because I mean some of this stuff is just doing things on the computer and there's nothing to show for it. But I think as we get closer to the wedding, you guys will see more when we, you know, have our appointments with the florist to actually see the flowers in person or go taste the food at the venue and all that kind of fun stuff. That will come more when we're closer. Um, but as of right now, it's pretty chill, just booking stuff on the computer and calling it a day. So we do have to work on our save the dates, which I've been putting off a little bit because I'm indecisive and I know it's gonna be really, really, really hard for me to decide on which picture I wanna use. But I have to remind myself that we can use more pictures on our invitations, which we probably won't even put pictures on our invitations, huh? That's more for just save the dates, yeah now that I'm thinking about it. Um, but we can print pictures and have them at the venue too, in like a nice way, maybe. I don't know. That's something that we'll decide down the line too. So that is my update. I have about an hour before I wanna start cooking dinner. We have HelloFresh, thank goodness, coming in clutch tonight. I'm so excited for that. It's like such a Zane and I dish. It's like a bowl with couscous and turkey and veggies. Delicious. So we're gonna make that in a little bit. In this hour, I I think I'm gonna edit and get up the reel from our adventure challenge date. If you watched the last vlog, we did an adventure challenge yesterday and it was a lot of fun. And I filmed like a little short form video on it. So I've been loving that. If you don't follow me on Instagram and TikTok, I think I said it in the last vlog too. They're like two, three minute videos where I do like a quick voiceover. I try to do just first take so that it's like authentic and fun. And I feel like that shows my personality more, but it's fun. I just get like little clips and then I do like a little voiceover and I feel like it just fills you guys in on my life if you don't have the time necessarily every single week to watch these hour long videos that I put up. I know it's a lot to keep up with. So at least if you follow me over on Instagram or TikTok, you get to see like little glimpses, little mini vlogs. So definitely go follow me there. So I'm gonna work on that and we're gonna make some dinner. And then I would love to work on the Italy hotels at some point this weekend. I've been looking into it a little bit more. We have two more locations that we need spots to stay in. We both are like, you know what? Let's just splurge on the good hotels. We would just wanna make this vacation like really memorable and really amazing. So now I'm real excited to look into it. Cause before we were like, all right, let's see what we can like budget a little bit. And now we're like, Let's just go for it. I'll see you guys in a bit and we're gonna make some dinner. I was about to record my voiceover and then I was like, this could be fun if you guys are interested in a little behind the scenes. So these are our podcast mics, like our old ones. Now we upgraded to those, but this is what we used to use. They're the blue mics. They are called, um, forget what these are exactly called. Yeti, blue Yeti. I think that's what they're called. Great quality mics. They are just not as high quality as the ones that we have now. It's a USB mic. Now we have ones that go into like an audio interface. So it's just a little upgraded, but these are still amazing. So this is what I just use for the voiceovers. It's quick and easy to just plug Plug it in USB, record, donezo. We're gonna try to do one take, <laughs> see if we can make that happen. And then sometimes I'll leave too much footage in where I don't have enough to say and it's silent. So I'll just pause while I'm talking and I'll cut out the silences. Um, so let's see what we can do here. And I feel a piece of fuzz in my eye and I have a mascara. Not a good combo. A lot of people that do make short form content just do everything on their phone and have, like I'm pretty sure people record it through headphones or have like a little plug-in mic on their phone and edit even edit on their phone but I'm just a youtuber at heart and I am so much quicker and better 
on my computer i like to just throw all of my footage into dropbox put it in final cut pro edit it on there record my voiceover on here that way it's also really easy for me to distribute to all different platforms i just find it easiest for my brain but maybe it's just because that's just always what i've known Maybe if I was a TikToker or an Instagrammer at first, then I would feel different. But I've tried to edit on my phone and do stuff on my phone and I just don't like it. It's not for me. I'm way quicker on my computer. When I have to, I can make it happen, but you know, it takes me way longer. So Zane asked me to do a crafty painting adventure challenge and I was confused, but I was in for it. Anyways, uh, Michael's checkout i just blanked for a second <laughs> michael's checkout <laughs> i did what i could do perfect one try reel is up and i think it came out so cute so go check it out if you haven't watched it let's go make dinner i'm hungry and zane is going to tennis tonight so he needs to eat before he goes also pretty interesting update the water was super blue as you guys saw and now these have been sitting for a really long time these are zane's these are mine and the water turned white. I'm gonna let them keep sitting because there's still definitely marks on them, but they look a lot better. Okay, we are ready. Tonight we are making HelloFresh spicy and saucy turkey and bell pepper bowls with roasted zucchini couscous. That sounds incredible. Never had this one before, so I'm excited. So huge thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. If you've never heard of them, you must be new here. Are you new here? <laughs> I work with HelloFresh every single month. They're one of my favorite companies that I partner with. They are amazing. They are a meal kit service. I'm clapping because I'm excited. They send pre-portioned ingredients right to your door. They come in these bags in a box. It is everything you need. You also have the step-by-step -step instructions. So you cut down so much time on food prep. You waste way less food because you're not buying a big amount of ingredients when you're only gonna use this much. It is summertime, it is peak time for that fresh produce and they make sure that you get the best picks all summer long. Their ingredients actually travel right from the farm to your door in less than seven days. So everything is very fresh, everything is so high quality, you can really taste it in their food. They have over 40 recipes to choose from every single week, so if you're like me and you get into some recipe ruts and you feel like uninspired and you make the same thing all the time, you will never get bored, you will always have something new to try and get inspired. I use so many techniques in my own cooking that I've learned from HelloFresh. They also have fast and fresh recipes that are ready in just about 15 minutes or less, and there's plans for so so many different types of lifestyles. So I would definitely recommend that you guys check it out. I am going to run you through all of the ingredients that we're gonna be using today, and then we're gonna get to chopping and cooking. Actually, first, I'm gonna preheat the oven to 450 degrees, get that going. We've got two zucchinis, two bell peppers. These are so beautiful, they're so bright and colorful. Five ounces of couscous. This might be Zane and I's favorite side. We're kind of obsessed. Two packages of chicken stock concentrate. 10 ounces of marinara sauce. One teaspoon of chili flakes. And 20 ounces of ground turkey. We do get the four person serving. We like to have it for lunch the next day. Highly recommend if it's just two of you. It's kind of the best when you wake up and you're like, oop, I have lunch already made. All right, we're gonna clean everything, chop it up, get the zucchini roasting in the oven. We'll start there. quite simple self-explanatory all of those steps now i'm just doing the last of it i'm putting in all the marinara sauce into the onion pepper turkey mixture the couscous is really simple i just mixed the zucchini that we roasted in the oven with it quick and easy we're just gonna let this all mesh together for about a minute or two and then we're ready to plate we've got our containers 
for tomorrow. And we've got our plates for right now. Dinner tonight and lunch tomorrow is served. I'm gonna do just a little bit of finishing salt on the couscous. I am gonna top the dishes with some fresh basil because look at my plant. She is thriving. Every time I water the plants, I am like, oh, I need to do something with this. So you know what? This dish is perfect to top with a little basil. We're gonna go for it. And I need to make pesto or something. Make some pizzas, some pasta. Mm. Oh, smells so good. There's nothing like fresh basil. Quick and easy. I'm just gonna rip it up. Zane is on his way up, but I'm gonna do a taste test without him. <laughs> I'm hungry. Mmm. Turkey is delicious. Couscous. Phenomenal. Fresh, simple, easy. If you guys want to try out HelloFresh, which you absolutely should, I of course have a discount for you guys. You can go to HelloFresh.com and use the code AlyssaRose50 at checkout for 50% off plus free shipping. Again, go to HelloFresh.com and use code AlyssaRose50 at checkout for 50% off plus free shipping. If you can't cook, you love it, and if you love to cook, you'll love it. Gonna throw some shock in this pool and water my plants. We've had lots of rainy days which mess with the pool and stuff and now this upcoming week is supposed to be all sunshine. So hopefully now it'll stay nice and not give us any more problems. The rain really Fs us up. So anyways, all right. It did rain today but Still gonna give my plants a little water. Not gonna do this one though, because it is a puddle in there. It is already overwatered. Do my little guys over here. These definitely need some love. Oh no. How does this happen so quickly? And this one already has a puddle. This one has a puddle too. I don't wanna overwater them from the rain today, I guess. They got a lot of water. All right. Well, you know what? Hopefully they come back. Oh, this was so beautiful. Please come back. I also have to clean out our robot and charge him. Okay, I've done my domestic duties. Let's hope tomorrow this backyard looks alive and popping. My neighbor is coming with me to Zumba again and I said, oh, after we should go sit by the pool. So if I don't have it fixed by tomorrow, I'm gonna be embarrassed. I did warn her. I was like, listen, all the rain has caused our pool to be a hot mess. So I'm really gonna try my best to make sure that it is ready for tomorrow. And just the rest of the week in general, it's gonna be so nice out. And Zane's little sister is leaving for college in the middle of August and I told her, I'm like, you should come by, have a pool day with me. Like, let's hang out. I'm gonna miss her and we need to spend more one-on-one -on -one time together. So I just want to enjoy the pool this week. So we need to get our shit together. What is happening here? And I need a fresh tan tomorrow because I am so, look at that. Yep, wow, it looks way worse on camera. This is a double layer. When I double layer, it looks even worse because you're supposed to exfoliate all of your tan off really when you put on a new one. But sometimes when it doesn't look splotchy, I'm like, oh, I'll just layer it on top. But since we're having a pool day tomorrow, I was like, let me just wait. I'm gonna be all gross from the pool anyway. And after we're done by the pool day tomorrow, I'm gonna do a nice exfoliating shower and be all fresh to death. And we need to clean this house. So it's a nice refresh weekend, getting our shit together. All right, so obviously the built-ins are still gonna be a little while until they're completely done. And every time they come, we put the cats away because they have the back door open. So the cat stuff is gonna be staying in here for quite a while. This is not practical, it's blocking Zane's closet. And it's just right when you walk in our bedroom. So we're gonna move it to the other side because there's much more open space over there. And I think it'll just be better. Oh, these things are heavy. 
this could just go in a completely different room. This does not have to stay in here. I already feel so much better. That was a hot mess over here. Lovely. Salt and vinegar, yeah. kettle cooked chips, and Love She's Island to night. end the night. Good night. I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Just got back from Zumba. It was so fun. And then we stopped at Soul Bowl. She just went to get her bathing suit by neighbor, and then we're going to go outside and lay by the pool. We got Zane one, and he needed nut free granola. So it's really cute that they put it in like a whole separate thing. Mmm. So good on a hot summer day. So excited. I usually don't put the coconut, but I was feeling frisky today and I added almond butter. I take off the banana and take off the honey. That's my order. My neighbor has never had an Aussie bowl, so I was like, we're going. And she actually was brave and got like the green one. She was like, it just sounds really good. I was like, okay, go for it. And then I told her the almond butter add-on is good too. So she got that on the side. That's that. I'm gonna go enjoy this summer day. I think I'm gonna bring my book outside too and start uh, Too Late by Colleen Hoover. It's not on the Kindle, it's a physical book, but it's fine. Spoonful by itself? <laughs> it is 5.16, had a beautiful day by the pool. It is now time to take a nice exfoliating shower, get off this tanner, and then we're gonna put a fresh one on tonight. Loving this book, Too Late by Colleen Hoover. It's her like newest physical copy release. She was releasing it like digitally for a while, like chapter by chapter, and then she finally made it its own book. I'm on page 79, doing pretty good. It's a pretty thick book. I actually don't even know how many pages it is. Let's see. Looks like it's just under 400 ish so very interesting a lot unlike her other books i read you guys the description before but it's basically like let me just tell you <gasps> oh girl got red it's not that bad the camera's making it look a lot worse so it's about this girl who is dating this guy that is a drug trafficker and he becomes like obsessed with her and then she kind of gets involved with like an undercover agent that's trying to bust him and then they start to like get attracted to each other but she doesn't know that he's an undercover agent and the guy that is the drug trafficker is like abusive he's not good to her at all there is some trigger warnings in the beginning of the book it's definitely like some heavy topics foul language graphic sexual scenes murder sexual assault drug use so definitely keep that in mind but i thought it was a good switch up because i have been reading a lot of like romancy novels so i was excited to read this one and so far it's pretty intriguing so that's what we're currently reading anyways time to wind down and i'm gonna have some hell fresh leftovers from yesterday i'm so excited about those it's gonna be phenomenal after i had like all clean nice refreshing shower i'm excited I mean, this is my kind of Saturday night right here. <laughs> I just heated up my leftovers. I got my book. I've got Love Island. I've got my laptop. I need to do some shopping for Zane's birthday. And then also still looking at the hotels for our trip. So I'm going to do that. Just relax for the rest of the night. Jump scare. This is what I look like right now. I am all fresh and exfoliated. So I'm going to put on a fresh tan in a little bit. Sleep in it. I'm going to blow out my hair nice and fresh. And then tomorrow is a new day. What a nice relaxing weekend. I am here for it. Good morning, my babies. <gasps> Happy Sunday. What are we all doing? <sighs> ah. That is not the Sunday energy we want. Good morning, happy Sunday. <gasps> it's gonna be a good one today. We have fresh hair, washed it last night. Feeling nice about that. Let's do our morning gratefuls. Today I'm grateful for acai bowls because that was so delicious yesterday. I'm also grateful that we got the cabinet delivery, which I will show you in just a second. Came yesterday while we were in the pool. And then I'm also grateful that I got Zane his birthday present. 
I'm still deciding if I want to surprise him earlier than wait all the way till the end of August to give it to him because I'm way too excited and I think he'll be really excited too. I think I'm going to ask him, leave it up to him if he wants the surprise soon, like today maybe. It is a nice 8.36 a.m. We have Zumba at 9.45, so we had a little bit of time to relax this morning. Plan for today is to clean the house, and then we are having Zane's cousin over. She moved to California. She had a baby. Haven't seen her in a while, so she's going to come by a little bit later, see the house and everything, which the house is in no condition to be giving anyone a house tour, but, you know, we got to make do with when she's here because she lives all the way on the west coast. So I actually don't even know if the company is coming today to work on the built-in. So I will find out about that because I don't know if it would be a great idea for them to be here while they're here, you know? But yeah, a chill Sunday. So that's the plan. I did get on my tan last night. It's looking beautiful. I'm going to rinse after I get home from Zumba because I'm going to, you know, be all sweaty anyway. I'll just rinse then. Check it out. The cabinets came. Very exciting stuff. So Next is they're gonna fix the paint color to white and then install these. I showed them which handles I wanted and then butcher block comes in and we should be nearing the end here, honestly. I feel like this is the easy part. This was like the hardest part, literally building a wall from scratch. You guys have seen the journey. It was crazy and they did it so quick. So now we should move along pretty quickly and then we can start styling these shelves, putting all my books, going to the store and getting all the tchotchkes for the shelves. I'm pumped about it. And look how much extra storage we're about to have. I mean, this house already has an insane amount of storage but it will be nice i can make the shelves look pretty and then i guess if there's too many books or whatever i have all this cabinet space to store them too lots more storage good morning schmogums she's so damn cute look at her yep zane and i are getting kitten fever so we are in talks about number four possibly towards the end of this year right maybe just one more <laughs> I ordered a new eyebrow trimmer off Amazon because mine is just MIA, don't know where it went. I need to trim my eyebrows. I used to get them done all the time, but I really don't have like thick, coarse hair that I need to be going and getting them waxed. So I just take like the electric trimmer and I like, you know, clean up the edges and stuff. I just got one of these little guys that has like the short end and the longer end. That's all I need. Does it come with a battery? She does not. Okay. Don't worry. Got one right here. Yeah. This is not your jungle gym. Oh my god, he's gonna think that the built-ins are literally for him. It's gonna be an issue probably. I need a high intensity sports bra today because yesterday my boobs were hurting. We need them to stay in place. Much better. I've been missing my thing for like months. Even when I went to get my makeup done for our engagement photo shoot, I looked at my eyebrows and I was like, ooh, I didn't even like tweeze them, nothing. Yeah? My eyebrow trimmer. What'd you think it was? A water leak? It's literally vibration. How does it sound like a water leak? No, like it sounds like a, like a sprinkler. <laughs> okay. Let's put on some moisturizer. I got this sent to me from Kiehl's. It's really good. Ultra facial cream. I haven't rinsed my tanner off, but it is what it is. I'm really liking how my hair came out. I did it with the air wrap yesterday with like the brush attachment. And I just did it like straight. And I feel like it looks pretty. I just, I'm getting no extensions uh, the first week of August. I'm getting them out next week, the last week of July. Um, I, I'm just due. It's been like three months. They're getting overgrown now and I don't want them to start like pulling all my hair, but you can see the color difference. See where the blonde extension starts. So I'm going to try to match to this color so that it matches my like natural hair color or like even like this right here. Is that the same as my roots? Yeah. Like somewhere in this family, like this like brownish family, because I just feel like they got so blonde, especially at the bottom, and I want more of like that color. But I think we're on a good path to growing out my natural hair color because I feel like my roots really aren't awful the way Abby did it. She did it like super naturally so that 
when they did grow out it doesn't look really bad and like harsh so i think we're on a good path to find the natural color here this is also another one of my favorite products the keels creamy eye treatment so good a little bit under the eyes it just brightens you up ah <sighs> oof we're getting like a tangle back here oh yeah it's time for these to come out oh my god that is not good look at that can you guys see that right there that that is like a result of me brushing my hair and accidentally snagging it Anyways, they'll come out on Wednesday, Thursday. Wednesday or Thursday. Okay. Uh, we should probably leave for Zumba. A little chapstick, put in a pair of earrings, and we'll call it a day for Zumba. I usually put a shirt on top of my sports bra, but I feel pretty supportive in this one. It's hot out. That's good enough. I've been wearing my hookahs to Zumba, which are so comfortable and bouncy, but it's been a minute since I've worn my Zumba sneakers, so I'm gonna break them out today. My hookahs are definitely more comfortable. But I'm wearing like a black outfit and I needed to wear black socks, like high socks, because of my tanner. It'll get all over. So I'm like, yeah, they work. They look cute. All right. All right, let's go to Zumba and I'll be back. I we're back from Zumba, went to the car wash, and I asked Zane this morning if he wants his uh, birthday present early. His birthday is until August 26th. I don't know why. I just want to give it to him early. I usually can wait, but now his curiosity is killing him. He usually would wait too, but now he wants it. So we're going to prepare it. I'm not even going to whisper to you what it is because I don't want him to hear me. You wanted to come in here. This is your fault. Yeah. I just heard him go downstairs. Okay, now I can tell you. I got us tickets to the U.S. Open, which he wanted. And there's so many days of it. But I got us the very last day, which is the most hype day. It's the men's final and the women's doubles. Final. And I got us pretty good seats. It's really expensive. Like close up seats are literally like $7,000. So I didn't do that. But so we're a little high up, but we'll still be there on the most hype day. You don't know who it's going to be because they have to play, you know, leading up to the finals and you'll find out that day or the day before. So I'm just going to print it out and we're going to give it to him. It's not until September 10th, but I just want him to know. I want to be excited about it with him, you know. I tried to throw him off because he's like, why would you want to give it to me early? He's like, then that means that we have to go to whatever it is before your birthday. I'm like, I'm just excited to give it to you. There's no time frame on it. I tried to throw him off a little, you know. Here it is. I had his brother help me figure out what to get. And I was like, I'm just going to go for it. He's like, go for it. I'm going to fold it up really small. Oh, my bad. Doing in here. All right, come up. All right. gonna be so hot. So hot. All right. Happy early birthday. I'm so confused. Why? Why this was even offered? Because I feel like you're the type of person to not offer early gifts. I'm just. I just want to. I just want you to see it. I'm just excited. I'm so confused. Right, listen, I'm here for it. I'm excited. What could it be though? I'm so... <laughs> right, there's not a lot of girth to this. It's pretty light. <laughs> Nothing? Oh yeah, I'm so confused. What? <laughs> Is it in here? Okay, let's print it out. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Are you? out of your mind? We're definitely a little far away. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? We're going to be a little far, but I figured you'd rather be at that day than an earlier day and closer. <laughs> what? You are <laughs> insane. Come here. 
<laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, it's so exciting. <laughs> We're gonna have so much fun. Yeah. I need you to put it on your calendar. Why? I just needed you to know. I just want to be excited with you. Oh. It's a big deal. I couldn't wait until the end of August to tell you. No, I was it's not until high key hoping it was something with the US Open. <laughs> it's not until September 10th, but... The finals? The finals. We don't know oh who it's going to be, but it should be hype, right? Oh, absolutely. No matter who it is, the finals always hype. Yeah. That's so... That's unreal. We're going to the US Open finals, baby. Let's fucking go. You are insane. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little crazy, but listen, what? the up close seats are seven grand a seat. No, I know. Even is... this would probably be super expensive. It was like eleven hundred. <laughs> That's fucking for insane. Both. For both. Still. So we're a little far, cause I was like, we're still gonna be there, and I still want to like take you out to dinner and everything. So I'm like, I think this is more worth it, because. Okay, I had Amani help me. We've been texting back and forth. He's been helping me because the tickets are so confusing because you can buy like a certain stadium, but then you don't get access to another one and da da da. But I remember when we went, we had access to all of them except for Arthur Ashe and you were like bummed that we couldn't go into Arthur Ashe. Yeah, So Arthur I was like, Ashe. I want to make sure we're in Arthur Ashe for sure. And then I could have got, I was going to get like semifinals and we could have been like a, like a section closer for the same price. Mm -hmm. But I was like, I think... Personally, I'd rather be a little further away and be at the final. Yeah, no, the atmosphere is gonna be fucking insane. Yeah, and it's like during the day too, so we can like make a day of it. It, start, it says it starts at one. Yeah, it's usually because all the other ones were like seven p.m. Yeah, they so they split it up into day and night sessions, and yeah, normally like early on in the tournament when there's tons of matches going on the side courts in the other stadiums yeah. if you buy arthur ashe tickets you can go to all those other stadiums yeah but you can only get to arthur ashe with an arthur ashe ticket like you can buy one for grandstand or the louis armstrong stadium okay. and get into ash last time right. we bought it for grandstand okay that is i'm so hyped it's you have no so idea red. i was so happy when i saw one o'clock too so the other tickets i was looking at were like start at seven and i know they can go really late and last time it was like really late remember mm-hmm but I remember we were at the other stadium, we were hearing them cheer the other one. We were like watching the score on the phone because we couldn't go in. Yeah. So now at least we'll be in there. Yeah, the other ones are just a toss up. It's like you want to, like Arthur Ashe, usually the way they schedule it, they put the big time players on Ash. Yeah. Like early run in the tournament. Obviously, whoever makes it to the final is, they deserve to be there, but. I feel like that's probably see like Alcaraz. That's I what hope I guess. so. Yeah. I hope it outcries. Oh, I was so tempted to splurge even more, but I was like, bliss. No, chill. This is already way too it much. Was, it was like almost 1200 And I feel like that's like... That's absurd. I know, but like, I feel like that's worth it. I mean, you don't that have to like, it's Honestly, it's it could have been... It, I could have gotten like a few rows back for like $40 cheaper or something, but I was like... Wait, can I see? Do you have like a, mm -hmm. a thing of the thing? Yeah. I was like, Fox. I was ready to like splurge. I didn't realize how much the tickets were but i was like all right i'll get us some like good close seats like splurge on his birthday and then i was like i don't know if i'm gonna 14 grand splurge it's ridiculous <laughs> that's crazy i feel like that's a lot of it, celebrities it's celebrities and like corporate people yeah that's what i feel like it is one day. or people that are just get so, people that get the hookup rich. we went one year with your dad through like the tennis club or something yeah but also i know one guy who i used to teach and he's just had he's got money at the wazoo yeah and like he'll just go they just like casually stuff. yeah and he makes it like a thing every year he goes yeah and when i say like that i didn't say like he spends like 15 20 grand that's crazy easily. i really want his wife his like that's what i'm saying he makes it a thing but he's got money up the wazoo i was not expecting it to be that much what does it say <laughs> uh section, section 325 row m okay so this is 325 row w these are the ones i was gonna get but we got a few rows closer Okay, awesome. It's still a sick view. Dude, that is gonna be insane. But any closer, it was like... No, I know. It's ridiculous. These are nine grand each. Dude. Even this section I wanted to get. Two, $2,400 each. $2,500 each. That's insane. Five grand. On, I was like, I, Zane would kill me, actually. No, this he wouldn't. He would be like, oh, up. I'm so excited. But yeah, even like... I want it because I don't like being all the way in the back. I wanted like a middle section, but literally all the middle sections are over two thousand dollars a ticket. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is insane. Even I, these. No, I didn't even consider like going to the finals. You at just wanted all to go a day because it's yeah. so expensive. So yeah. the fact that you were able to even get something is like what? I know. Like I didn't even have that on my radar. So I'm like, nah. Like I'm not spending a thousand dollars. Yeah. 
you know me, baby. Go big or go home. If we're gonna go to US Open, we're gonna go to the finals. <laughs> That is insane. Oh my god, it's gonna be so much fun. I feel like I got a good deal too because even these tickets back here are like 650, 657. I paid like 590 something. Wow. A ticket. Wait, so did you just do this today? Is that what I wanted to show me? I did it last night. I I panicked too because I was doing it last night on my laptop in bed. I fell asleep while I was doing it with it open. That's what like, you would do. I was like, did he walk in and see it? <laughs> you wouldn't say anything. Maybe no, after I, I gave it to you, you'd be like, maybe I saw your computer yesterday. <laughs> I would. But yeah, they're insane. I was not expecting that. Wait, so that. let me see. I thought like close up. I was like, look at this one. $10,743 for one ticket over 10 grand. Yeah, so this is row N and that's pretty sick. Yeah. I had the I had the alphabet pulled up, babe. Because I was like, I was like, is O closer? Is M closer? And I was like, had the alphabet. I'm like, M is the closest. Because it goes like from A all the way up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. This is going to be, you are going to. Die. Oh, I, I, love, mean, I, I love the US Open. That's why I wanted Splurge too, because I love going. Because I feel like when we went to see Federer with my dad that one time. Yeah, we were like the third row in. How did he get those? Those were like $7,000 tickets. No, that was like a hookup. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. But that's crazy. I'm pretty sure it was somebody who has like, um, like there's people that buy like seats for the whole entire Open. Right. So I'm pretty sure he just got it like through a friend or something. That's crazy that people just give those out. Yeah, that's insane. But like when we went last year, last year or two years ago? We went know. last, no, we didn't, we went two years ago. I didn't, you went last year, I didn't go. Oh, so when we went two years ago, and like we were in Armstrong and stuff. When I had my second... Kybella, remember? I brought my ice pack with me. I was oh, right that's right. I, I was too excited. So that's why I wanted to tell you, nah, I was now so excited. Now i <laughs> September 10th. That's, wait, it's the 10th, right? Yeah, put it in the calendar, it's on Let's Sunday. Go. And. No Sunday cleaning that day. <laughs> So the one thing I'm confused yeah, about, usually it's um... Uh... I'm very confused. Even the way Imani was explaining it to me, he's like, it's weird the way they do it. And I'm like, I am lost. Why? I don't think it's weird. Cause like, can we get into the other stadiums? Since we- Yeah, but there's, think... it's the finals. There's not gonna be any matches going on. Oh, right. Everyone gets eliminated. Oh, so should we have done a different day so that we can see other matches? Well, I'm definitely going multiple times. So we can even go on a, like early in the tournament. Oh, the other tickets for, for the other days are so cheap. Oh, I know. We could literally get like hundred fifty dollar tickets. I know. Yeah, I plan on going multiple times. Yeah. And the whole week of qualifying, where the pros practice and like the people who are upcoming, they have a chance to get in the tournament. That whole week is free. Like last year when I went, like I literally got to see my, we got to see Alcaraz practice right in front of us for oh, free. Oh, I know. Yeah. Well, at least now we have the final locked in, and then we can go to anything that leading is up to it. Fucking real. We're gonna watch what? history be made. <laughs> But, so what's gonna happen normally? I think the women's doubles final will be at one, and then the men's and then final starts after. after. Yeah, that makes sense. So we'll be there a while. But We're gonna awesome. go to both. Absolutely. Yeah. Hundred percent. It starts at one. We'll make a day of it. We'll have to go early to get there and stuff. Dude, this is row N, and we're a row closer. That's unreal. It's not bad. I don't no, know if that's good. super accurate. No, this is good. I don't know if that's super accurate though. What do you mean? Is it? How many rows behind? Oh yeah, it's all the way at the top. I'm so excited. This is, I, I want it to be September 10th now. <laughs> Should I have waited to tell you? No. I wanted to tell you No, so because bad. I had a feeling. I was like, I hope it's something to do with the US Open, but I'm like, why would she tell me? I messed with you in the car. I was like, there's no date on it. I can give it to you whenever. Yeah, that threw me for a loop too. I was like, I know. That's why I did that. Because I knew you were expecting, I knew you were suspecting <coughs> that it was US Open tickets. I could just tell. I wanted it like, to be so yeah, bad. They were like, you need to give it to me because we have to go on a certain day. Well, because that's what I, like, that was the only thing I asked for, I feel like. I was like, oh, that's like the one thing that. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect you to do that, though. You absolute madman. Give me a kiss. I love you. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're the bomb. I told Monty last night, I was like, I'm just going to go for it. He's like, just do it. He's like, that's going to be, that's no so matter, funny, you know. he's like, no matter who it is, it's going to be great. Oh, uh, it's going to be. He's like, it's gonna be legend. What did he say? It's gonna be legendary. No yeah, matter who no, it is. The U.S. Open, literally, no matter who it is. Yeah, always legendary. Can't miss out. He was look. He was helping me. <laughs> That's so funny. I was like, help! I'm so confused. Oh my god. This is so fun. I never thought I would be so excited to watch sports. I can't stand watching any other sport. I love watching tennis. Dude, tennis is the best. It is. When we went to the Yankees game, I was like. So, no, other sports are awesome. Uh, I love other sports. No, I too, respect but. it. I just, I mean, football. If I understood the rules, I'm sure that would be fun. It's like hype. Everything's fun. Football is fun. Baseball is so slow. European, like football. Football, soccer. Soccer. 
soccer is fun, probably. Yeah, I love also, I've obviously, I've played tennis my whole life, so I'm connected to it, but. I just I like that tennis is like, I mean, if it's not, if it's not doubles, but it's just like two people, easy, quick. They have the score. Quick. Well, not, but oh, like, quick. no, like they move quick. Like it's only like oh, it's two minute action. breaks. Yeah, yeah. It's it only, is constant action. Yeah, like, sit. Same thing, that's why quick. I love basketball too. Basketball is like. Quick pace. So, all so much action. Yeah. And the environment. That's why I love the US Open too, because yeah, it's such a hype. It's so hype. And it reminds me of like um, watching a basketball game in Madison Square Garden. Like it's just so hype. Okay, yeah, maybe I'm just a baseball hater. <laughs> I think that Yankee game. Baseball is a little slow. I, like, I still uh, like it. I still like it. But I think if I understood, you're right, probably like basketball, soccer, football, I think that would be way more entertaining. Basketball is easy to understand. They shoot ball in hoop, get points. <laughs> From certain line, three points. From yeah. other line, how many points? Everything else is two points. Two points. All right. Yay! Um, I I wish I could close my eyes and be at September 10th already. I know. It's going to be so nice. It's going to be It's going to make, no, it's going to make watching the tournament because I always watch the tournament. You but know? you're going to be there. It's going to, no, but it's going to make. at the end. Yeah, so watching the tournament is leading up to it. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're going to be like, I'm going to be there. So whoever wins this, I'm going to see them. It is time to clean this house. We have guests coming over tonight. That's when our house gets the cleanest. <laughs> The guys are not coming to work on the built-in, so at least we know that they won't be like here while we're, you know, hanging out. So I can clean up the living room as best I can. I think I'm gonna swiffer a wet jet because there's like, you know, dust all over the floor just to make it semi-decent a little bit. Zane is about to go play a tennis tournament and then when he comes back, he'll do the bathrooms and stuff. And then he already started cleaning up downstairs the basement. Um, I think that's where we're gonna hang out, but we're, trying, we're still, we're still uh, refreshing from the flood. So let's get this house cleaned. And then also, I'm gonna make some HelloFresh, these pork sausage. Well, actually we subbed for chicken breasts. So chicken breasts, pesto, flatbreads. And it actually said that the flatbreads contain sesame and then pesto usually has tree nuts, which Zane is allergic to both, but if you look at the um, packaging on the flatbreads, no sesame, and the pesto has no tree nuts, so Zane can have it as well. So that's what we're gonna have for like a lunch, kind of, like a late lunch, after I clean a little. And then tonight with Zane's cousins, we'll have like chips and dip, so that's the plan. I'm drinking a seltzer. These are phenomenal from Walmart. Pineapple coconut, so good. I like to make sure that we're stocked on waters when we have guests over. They've been nice too for the guys that have been working on the things, the what? The built-ins. I can just easily have water here for them. And then the rest can go in the downstairs fridge. This is my downstairs pile. <laughs> you guys are doing our cleaning and we were like organizing the fridge a little bit. <laughs> and we were like, let's get rid of this fruit because we're not gonna eat it. It was a huge thing of watermelon from my sister's bridal shower, which was a week today, last Sunday. Wait, we were gonna give it to his family. Good thing we opened it and smelt it. It's so rotten. Who knew watermelon could smell so bad? No, it literally smells like sewage. It smells like rotten meat. Really, I think it smells like poop. Like literal <laughs> sewage. <laughs> that so, is disgusting. It was so gross. This is my mom's container too. I didn't want to just throw it out. So I'm like hot watering it. Oh my God, that was so bad. My mom left a cantaloupe here again. <laughs> It's like her calling card. It's her calling, yeah, she just like leaves a cantaloupe everywhere she goes, I did not know watermelon could smell so bad. And it wasn't even like moldy either. It was just like, ugh, rotten. That was putrid. I didn't realize it's been a week, I guess. We should have gave it to her sooner. Okay, well, we're gonna let that soak. That was so <laughs> bad. This needs to go right in the trash can outside, like real quick. They're not coming today, so I'm just gonna like make everything look halfway decent in here. Oh, I should get the thing and charge it, huh? Let me go get that Benji.
I am back checking in. I'm making Hello Fresh. I'm doing those flatbreads. So I just toasted the bread. Oh, my whole thing fell in here. Oh my God, Alyssa. Terrible. Okay, hold on. We're gonna take this off the heat. We've got some chicken. You guys saw me chop up the tomatoes. I made this like cream cheese sauce and we're mixing it in this pan. It's cream cheese, garlic, water, like salt and pepper. And then I guess we're thickening it up with a little bit of flour. And now we're gonna assemble our flatbreads. First things first is this cream cheese sauce. I'm just gonna start spreading it before it like, I don't know, dries out. Just want it to get all over there. Oh, it looks good. Oh, it smells good. It smells like garlic. Oh, sorry, you guys are so dark. Next up, we've got our chicken. Then we've got our tomatoes. These were just tossed with salt and pepper. It says to taste, and I feel like that's a lot of tomatoes, so I'm gonna stop. All right, now we got our little pesto packets. We're just massaging it a little bit, and we're gonna drizzle it on. See if I can do this nicely. There we go. Okay, it's coming out in chunks. <laughs> It's fine, it's gonna all bake and you can't even tell anyway. Lastly, we top it all with some mozzarella. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Hurry up. Okay, in the oven for about five minutes and then we're ready to eat. Oh my goodness. Sign me up. It smells so good. Happy Sunday. What a great Sunday. I got the dishwasher going, I washed the dishes. We have new paper towels we needed. Got our thing charging for our lighter. Got my sippy. Oh, clean kitchen, yummy food. It's Love Island time. I'm gonna watch some TV and then I've got my book here. I already told you guys I'm reading too late, so I'm gonna dive into that too probably for a little bit and relax. That challenge really did trusted, considering it was actually a Zayn and I just ran to Lidl. His cousins are on their way. We got some jalapeno chips. We got some pita chips. We have tortilla chips in the pantry. Then we got spinach dip and roasted red pepper hummus. And we got a restock of our favorite ice cream pops too. So, so I'm just gonna get some chips and dip set up just to snack on. I'm gonna go get the little party plates from downstairs too. Yum. Good, 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 good morning. Happy Monday. Hi, Belly. It's a Monday, huh? It's a Monday. Uh, got up nice and early, start the week off fresh so I could get my work done early in the morning. I got. <laughs> What was that voice crack? It is a Monday. I woke up nice and early and got my makeup on so I could film some content for a brand. <clears throat> my God, my voice. Um, and now my computer was full, so I've got out my like big boy um, hard drive and I'm transferring footage. I like to keep my final videos. I used to keep the raw footage and the final videos and then I was like, this is so much, especially because my videos are so long and if there's montages in there, it's so many gigabytes of footage, and this is a 12 terabyte, and it is getting full. So now I just started keeping just the final videos. I don't need all the raw footage, like for what? Just doing some computer organizing, getting work done, just having myself a Monday. I'm gonna start a new vlog now, so I'm gonna end you guys off. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me this weekend. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys. Good. Oh God, please don't splash on me. We were like, okay, all right, enough. He's on fall. Oh, oh shit. I'm oh, sorry. Scare me. <laughs> I feel like you guys have been so dirty. Like, what's going on? Girl um, that is living with her, her hello, whore? <laughs> Abenji, like, who do you think you are? Whoa.